Welcome back guys. This tutorial is in continuation with the earlier one where we learned how to use model attribute annotation on a method argument like this. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to use the same annotation at a method level along with looking at some more fundamental concepts which are related to this annotation. All right, let's start. Guys, before I start explaining how to use this annotation at a method level, let me make a very small change in this request handler method and the corresponding JSP file. And later, I'll explain everything to you in detail. All right. So what I've done here, I've added this statement here in this JSP file on top of the page. And here I've added this statement in this request handler method. Now let's understand what I've done here. Here I've added a string object header message in this request handler methods model and view object having this value. And in the corresponding JSP file, that is in admission form.jsp file, I'm simply accessing this string object's value with this code. Now, with this modification, if a user would access this web page, what will happen? Nothing much. User would see this string object's value printed on the top of this web page along with this code. That is a value gone to College of Engineering India, which is set here by this request handle method using this statement. Let me show you this working on the browser. Earlier, when I was typing this URL on the browser, my application was sending me this web page. Now, if I type the same URL on the browser and would hit enter after the modifications which we just made, my application has sent me this web page as a response with this additional text on top of this web page. And this is because of the modifications which I made in this request handler method and in the corresponding JSP file, that is this modification. Now, after this modification, I would want you to observe a very important point here in this controller class. Here in this controller class, I have two request handler methods and both request handler methods are putting same kind of object in their respective model and view object that is header message string object. Now Spring MVC says if you have a requirement like this where all request handler methods which are present in the same controller class are putting or adding same kind of object in the respective model and view object then this is the right way of doing things and there is no doubt about it but how about if i give you an option here for writing less code and do more things using model attribute annotation on a method let me explain you this way spring mvc says if you add a method like this in your controller class which is having model attribute annotation present on its top then whatever object you would add to its model object spring mvc would automatically add that object to the model and view object for each request handler method which is present in this controller class in simple words if i talk about after adding this method here in this controller class and putting header message string object with this value into this model object. I'm simply saying that I really don't need to write this statement individually in all request handler methods which are present in this controller class. So I can simply remove the off from this controller class from each request handler method. Guys, just now I showed you using model attribute annotation on a method and putting header message string object having this value into the model object for this method, I simply avoided adding header message string object individually in each request handler method. So here I can achieve more things with less code using this way. So when you use model attribute annotation on a method, it's not giving you some outstanding feature, 
but it's simply giving you a way so that you would write less code and do more things. So if you don't want to use model attribute annotation on a method, don't use that. But in that case, you need to write more code as you saw before I included this method here in this controller class. Ideally, with all these modifications which I just performed in this controller class, my application's behavior would not change and it would behave in the same manner as it was behaving before making all these modifications. Let's check it on the browser. Cool, my application has sent me a response in the same way as it was sending me before I made all those modifications in this controller class. Guys, here in this demo, I showed you an example where I added a string object to this model object. In the similar manner, you may add here any user defined object of your choice or any collection object of your choice to this model object as per your project's requirement. Also, I added here only one object to this model. In your project, you may add more objects to this model object by simply adding more statements like this in this method. How? Oh, you know, something like this. You keep on adding more statements like this and in each statement you provide here the object which you want to place here in this model object. All right. Guys, there is an important point you should note here. Whenever a controller class is having a method like this, that is method having model attribute annotation present on its top, then Spring MVC framework would always make a call to that method first before making a call to any of its request handler methods. I hope you got the point. Guys, a big thank you for liking the tutorials on Spring MVC series. If you have any queries or feedback, Please provide them in the comment section below or simply write to me on this email ID for all of your queries. Please hit the like button if you really like this video and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Conto Series and I'm gonna catch you in my next tutorial.